out a bonsai tree. Most tree varieties have the potential to be turned into bonsai, and learning how to bonsai a tree is easier than most people think. If you are capable of keeping plants alive in the climate you live in, then the rest is easy enough to learn. Choosing the right variety of tree to start with. Understanding the visual factors that make a tree look like a bonsai style. Size. Shape in the pot it is planted in care and maintenance to improve the look. Health and how to identify a tree that is good for bonsai. The safest way to get started is to choose a variety of tree that grows well in your area or climate zone. Attempting to grow something exotic or foreign to your climate zone can be very difficult and can lead to certain failure. I know where I live I am unable to keep Japanese maples alive for very long, as it does not get cold enough in the winter for them to properly hibernate. Similar to us humans, if we don't get enough sleep when we need it, it can lead to sickness or worse. A good variety to try could be a common garden plant, a ground cover or plant you most trees that respond well to pruning of the foliage. And don't stress out too much when transplanted or repotted. Make great bonsai. Visual factors of a great tree. There are five basic styles of Japanese bonsai. And if you can follow the basic guidelines for one of these styles, it will to give you direction as to what features your tree needs to look like a bonsai. The size and shape of your tree are big factors when getting the right visual elements. The height of your tree should be roughly six times the width of the trunk at the base. The overall shape from the tip of the lowest branch to the apex of the tree top down to the tip of the second lowest branch should be on the opposite side of the tree should be the pot depth should be around twice the width of the trunk and width will be about two-thirds of the tree's height or spread of the foliage if the tree is very short. If a tree fits in with these visual factors, most people will recognize it as a bonsai. So the toughest part of how to bonsai a tree is done. The rest of it is just keeping it alive and refining it. Bonsai care. Bonsai are no different to any other trees. They still need the elements of nature like wind, rain, and sun. Keeping a tree inside for too long starves it of the things it needs most. Bonsai need to be kept outside for the majority of the time. Only bringing it in on occasion to admire overwatering or underwatering are the other two main factors that kill them quickly. The soil should only be kept moist, not wet, and not dry. To do this means constantly checking below the surface of the soil and only watering when it begins to dry out. This can mean checking every day if it is hot or in a small pot. Regular pruning to keep a compact triangular shape is better than waiting till the tree is out of control and lost all its shape. Pruning any growth that grows laterally, back to a pair of leaves, and removing any growth that points directly up or down from a branch is a good place to begin with your maintenance pruning. How find a variety that grows well in your area or climate zone choose a style that it will suit cut it down to the correct height and trim to a triangular shape pot in a container the right depth and width for you tree keep soil moist don't keep inside for too long prune regularly for compact shape training and refining true bonsai can take years or even a lifetime but following some simple steps can have you growing your very own Japanese style trees much sooner than you think if you're keen to get started you can check out the link to learn more about how to bonsai a tree and get started today. www.balkanabonsai.com.au